Hi sisters, today we're going to be talking about a YouTube channel that fakes celebrities' deaths. Also subscribe because if you haven't, then I'm gonna look like Jimmy Fallon in the screenshot. If you didn't know, there's a place where you can suggest video ideas in the description below. I was requested to talk about this channel. I also saw this channel on TikTok because of how insane it is. Now, the YouTube channel that we're going to be talking about is called Actor Disappeared. Their channel name is Actor Disappeared, but their at is Celebrities TV. They have 51,000 subscribers and 785 videos. Their whole thing is just posting clickbait videos about celebrities dying who have not died. It's just completely false. <laughs> and they've gained this following that I personally can't really understand. If you look at their most popular videos, you see five minutes ago, millions of people cried for Chuck Norris. Five minutes ago, millions of people cried over the sudden death of America's Got Talent. And then I would assume that this would just talk about Simon Cowell. One hour ago, rest in peace, Celine Dion heart stopped. Jesus Christ. Sylvester Stallone, Janet Jackson, Jackie Chan, Bruce Will There's so many f***ing people. And it's really depressing because a lot of people think that this is real. The TikTok that I saw talking about this YouTube channel was a daughter recording her dad being like, Blake Shelton's in the hospital. <laughs> And she's like, no, dad, they claim that everybody's dead. What I find hilarious is that I believe that most of their views are bought. Yes, this has 1.4 million views and 12,000 likes. Oh, how many comments? Oh, there's literally none. And that's different from this video, which comments are just straight up turned off. Good, good. I think that where actor disappeared found their niche is in like the very, very C to D list celebrities dying. Like they have made so many videos about this woman who was in Little People Big World. Let's see. One. Holy sh Look at this thumbnail. Oh my God. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, the mom and the dad in that show are still alive, but they've died six times. I love it so much because they give you the quality of celebrity where you go, I forgot about this person. They died. That stinks. And then you click on it and then you immediately click out when you hear this. Amy Rolop's family seemed to be in despair at the blow of fate. As a television personality, Rolof is known for her role on the reality television series Little People Big World of TLC. So it sounds like they're just talking into the microphone like this. <laughs> Sorry to just barge in here like that. I'm here to say that this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that I've worked with in the past because I genuinely like their product. When I was younger, I have very vivid memories of me going to the mall and trying out fragrances and then just spraying them all over my body and having it be a mess. As I've gotten older, I've really appreciated like subtle scents and that's where Scentbird comes in. Scentbird sent me three fragrances. The first one is Tamarindo by Memo Paris, which smells like a tropical vacation. And honestly, for somebody who never leaves the house, this is perfect. The second one they sent me is Scents of Wood by Vetiva in Bloom. That one smells a little bit flowery and magical. It's sort of what I picture Harry Styles smelling like. And the last one they sent me is Sexual Steel by Michael Germain. Listen, and Scentbird, you know me so well. <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. That one smells like a little bit of leather, a little musky. So if you want to smell good and maybe get some hot cuties, then make sure to click the link in my description below and use code Doolittle55 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only $8 for your first month. L look at how much stuff is in here. <laughs> Anyways, now back to the regular video. This is the content that they used to post before they found this niche of just lying to people. Oh, just Vietnamese cooking videos. Little meat, little lettuce, little sauce. Let's translate this. The experience of digging and catching rats after the ripe rice harvest is fun and exciting. Vlog. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, now they're just fishing. I'm okay with fishing, but seeing that little rat with its like head almost looking snapped was terrible. I wish that they went back to this kind of content because it showed me something that I've never seen before. But no, the content that they're sticking to is like this. Woof. <sighs> Jamie Foxx attempted and refused to eat after discovering he had terminal cancer. And then people actually think it's real. My prayers are going up for you, Jamie Foxx. It has two X's, you spelled it wrong. Obviously, you don't care. Jamie, I'm so sorry to hear of your illness. Hang in there. You can continue on the road to recovery. We need you to fight for God's will. Be one of his disciples. Jamie Foxx delivers heartbreaking health announcements. 
Fox is an actor and singer. He's known for his role as Ray Charles mm-hmm. in the 2004 biopic Ray, for which he has won Great numerous movie. awards. Mm-hmm. He's also a Grammy Award-winning musician yep. and has four albums that reached the top 10 of the US Billboard 200. That's awesome. However, recently Jamie Foxx's representative brought an emotional news. The fifth. <laughs> Who's making your thumbnails? Because these are f***ing crazy. Holy sh**. The 55-year-old man was diagnosed with terminal stomach cancer. His partner, Katie Holmes, was devastated to learn that Jamie Foxx was battling cancer. He's very strong because he's an incredible man. He has great strength. You don't hear his complaining and everything he says is positive. Woman 8444H said I have a question. At first I thought that this was somebody just doing a voiceover but now I think it's AI. But I also still think it's a voiceover. Also why sneak in the compliment of like he is a very strong man. He has stum- he doesn't have stomach cancer. He also didn't attempt to kill himself. <laughs> he also had skin cancer that operated on him and he's wonderfully healthy. Now he was diagnosed with stomach cancer a while ago, added Katie Holmes. That's a quote. Earlier in 2020, Jimmy Fox was diagnosed with skin cancer. He had surgery and was returned to work. What? They're making me question everything. Didn't have skin cancer. Definitely doesn't have terminal stomach cancer. Let's see where this goes. But on January 20, 2023, he went to the clinic after showing symptoms of digestive illness. After he returned to the hospital, an ultrasound was performed, Mm -hmm. which revealed a 5.5 inch tumor in his stomach. 5.5 5.5 inch. Let's look up inch to centimeters. 13.9 centimeters. The diagnosis was stage four tumor. Stage four tumor. Holy sh! Also, who watches this and is like, feels so bad for Jamie Fox. All this is just so mind blowing and black mirrory to me that there are people watching this being like, not oh, Jamie. We've lost so many good souls. <laughs> the tumor doctors had a tendency to spread, increasing the risk of developing other cancerous tumors. Uh-huh. So Fox was advised to remove one third of his stomach. One the surgery third of was his performed stomach? on January 31st. I mean, you do have a hell of an imagination to come up with this. That's pretty phenomenal. But also stop doing this, please. Let's see who else has passed away this year. I- no, Morgan. It's a great loss for the US film industry. Actor Morgan Freeman has died at the age of 85. As an actor, director, and narrator, Freeman no. is one of the most famous people in Hollywood. He also had a lot of allegations out against him. What if they just start referencing when Morgan Freeman got canceled? Did you forget about that? Morgan Freeman surrendered to cancer and died in the presence of his loved ones. Surrendered? This man has been living in a nightmare for almost a year. Mo- oh my god! This man has been living in a nightmare for more than a year. Stop that shit! My condolences. I'm glad to know that he passed away peacefully with his family. Whoa! Oh my god. And he passed away two weeks ago? That sucks, dude! Shit. What about this one? Not Bindi Irwin! Oh Oh my god, everybody's croaking these days. Fans are worried about Bindi Irwin's health. An Australian actor, conservationist, and zookeeper, Irwin hosted Bindi the Jungle Girl at the age of nine, a wildlife documentary television series for children. She is also known for winning. <laughs> you just took a screenshot of her closing her eyes. Who is this? What kind of hair is this? What makes fans most concerned about her health is her health. Irwin was diagnosed <laughs> Holy sh- this is one of my favorite things that I've ever discovered thank you to whoever sent this in what makes fans most concerned about her health is her health Owen was diagnosed terminal breast cancer she doesn't have breast cancer but Bindi paid tribute to Olivia Newton John during her battle with breast cancer if you type in Bindi Irwin breast cancer you know what f-ing comes up this shit, what the f- David Hasenhoff is currently in critical condition shut up at the hospital what hospital as an actor 
singer, and television personality. All right, listen, I don't give a shit about his f***ing resume. I want to hear how he croaked. The announcement was sent to fans a few hours ago. On the morning of January 27, David Hasenhoff was the victim of a violent traffic accident. The actor's representative confirmed this information to Fox News, according to which his car changed direction before crashing into a cement mixer. A, on a cement mixer? That's where I gotta get out of here. I don't want so much semen. What do you do? We drown and come? Ew, dude. David Hasselhoff, the accident just happened in Maryland, took the life of Hollywood actor. What was David Hasselhoff doing in Maryland? Visiting wrestling otaku? Now, some of these are aren't even deaths that they cover. Like this title of the video, is, we have extremely sad news for 77 year old Danny DeVito as he is confirmed to be dot 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 sad. <laughs> you got me with that one. Lastly, I just wanted to look at some of my favorite thumbnails that I could collect throughout my time of researching this, like Jimmy Fallon in a very, very violent car accident. That's good. As you can see, he's got like uh, some skin grafts and he's in a suit and there's nothing on the suit and he's outside the accident. Okay, what about this one? Oh my god! Holy shit! W wait, I have so many questions. This is Brooke Shields, correct? With no legs? Wasn't this the, the movie where... Oh yeah, she lives as a prostitute. Isn't she shown like fully naked in this as a teen? That's awesome, you guys. Yeah, I would love to talk about that at some point because what the f... Ugh! It. Oh God. Another favorite Tom Hanks <laughs> with the oxygen. He's going into the ambulance. He's there twice. Huh? Okay. Well, maybe he just has like a twin or something. Okay. Now. Okay. This guy's a WWE wrestler. So usually I wouldn't talk about a WWE star, but like this one really makes me laugh because <laughs> isn't this photo like of a toddler who died of cancer or something on the operating table? Wasn't this like a very famous photo? Like a kid died on an operating table i'm supposed to expect that this guy is on this operating table what the f well i'm glad that i got to show you all actor disappeared also known as celebrities tv also known as vietnamese cooking channel it's phenomenal the recent upload was uh drew barrymore passed angelina jolie passed dolly parton don't mess with the dolly <laughs> gosh well thank you to all my members for supporting me if you liked this video then please subscribe and leave a like i will talk to you all later bye